everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today as you see is going to be going through kind of a thrift books book haul so the thing is I don't actually remember what's in any of these packages I bought <laughs> these packages have literally been sitting on the ground for months on open because I don't really know where I'm going to put them on my bookshelves and I'm really truly limiting myself to like these two bookshelves that I have over here so there's that gray one and then there's this more wooden color one um yeah so the gray one as it stands right now is non-fiction the wooden one is fiction i have like a pile of books that i don't really like care to keep not that they're bad it's just you know um trying to limit myself here but i don't have a ton of room on either bookshelf until i read read books and then decide if i am going to like hang on to those or i'm going to get rid of those in which case that opens up a space for me to um put in a new book so I don't know where, well, I guess these are just going to be like stacked on the floor after I open them. I don't really know. So I'm going to open these one by one. Um, I'm sorry for the crinkling. Obviously, there's going to be like cuts in the video because these packages are truly not opened and I don't know what's in them. All right, here we go. Thrift books. Now, I do think that there are maybe a lot of non-fiction and then some fiction ones i actually don't remember i don't yeah i don't know oh my goodness okay so this is the chain um i'm not gonna go through and give summaries of all of them mostly because i don't really know um i will say that i wish i got a book that was like a little bit longer i don't really like books that are like short and stout <laughs> because then when your thumb is like holding the edge of the page it like covers over some of the words you know what i mean anyway but i saw this i had seen this at a um barnes and noble and i didn't want to get it at the time but i decided to go ahead and get it on thrift books later so i believe this is about okay it says your phone rings a stranger has kidnapped your child the stranger explains that their child has also been kidnapped by a completely different stranger the only way to get your child back is to kidnap another child you are now part of the chain. So, um, I thought it sounded interesting and I wanted to give it a try. The other one in here, and I'll tell you why I laughed. Um, so it's The Cousins by Karen McManus. I have heard that this is pretty good. I think I like damaged the cover a little bit when I was opening it just now. Um, I think this is probably going to be like a pretty easy read. The reason I laughed is because I have a cart going on thrift books right now and this is literally in my cart and that shows how much i have like truly forgotten what i bought oh this is literally upside down on the dish <laughs> okay wait how does this okay it goes like this ah all right so i guess i should read this one sooner than later because i must really want to read it my <laughs> husband is gonna be like why like okay i will completely buying books Shopping for books, buying books, and reading books are different hobbies. I will literally die on that hill. So, here, wow, I've got lots of hardcover books too. Okay, there are four in here. Um, playing Atari with Saddam Hussein. Okay, so this is like a really short, like, kids book kind of, but I read it that it's like a true story? Uh, that, like, a kid was actually, like, it said, yeah, it says based on a true story. Anyway, this is quite literally a kid's book, and I'm going to be able to read it like in an hour. So, um, but it sounded really interesting. I mean, doesn't that premise sound interesting? This, this slightly fictionalized biography of a half-Kurdish boy growing up in Saddam Hussein's Iraq during Operation Desert Storm is riveting. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is also something that I have thought about buying in the past. But I simply haven't done it. So it's called Home Now, How 6,000 Refugees Transformed an American Town. So there were a lot of refugees. I forget what, um, what country they were from. But anyway, oh, Somalia, I think, is where most of them were from. Um, and they all moved to this one town in Maine, Lewiston, Maine. Um, some parts of Maine are really, really conservative. So... And I'm not sure where Lewiston is in Maine, but um, anyway, apparently everything is great. 6,000 refugees moved into this town, and I personally am very interested in refugees and refugee issues. Like, that's quite literally why I'm going back to school. Oh, there's something in my eye. 
Okay, we'll see how that holds up. Quite literally going back to school because I would like to work with that population of people. So, um, that will be on my TBR. This is the Shadow System, Mass Incarceration and the American Family. Obviously, this is a non-fiction. Obviously, this is going to be like a heavier topic. But I do enjoy some like heavy topics and like political commentaries sometimes. So, I think this is like kind of pretty... Um, self-explanatory as to what it's about but it's just like how the system like breaks up people and families and about I I'm sure it goes into how our system does not rehabilitate so I think that's also like really important so yeah all right this is called the poisoner's handbook murder and the birth of forensic medicine in jazz age New York to be completely honest, I don't really remember what this was about and I'm not just going to like read the flap to you, but it sounded interesting when I was reading it. I think it kind of has a little bit of like the lost apothecary vibe going, so I am really interested in reading this and see if this is as good as that. I did like the lost apothecary. I am going to guess that this is not as good. May I don't know. I mean, sometimes books that are not hyped are still pretty good books, but I don't know. We'll see. This is called The Vanishing by Wendy Webb. Um, so I really only bought this because I read another book by this author like a couple years ago. It was called, oh I don't even remember what it was called. But it's on my, um, it's definitely on my Goodreads, but my phone is in the other room because it's charging because it was dead. And anyway, I just thought that I would maybe like this because I really liked her other books so I wanted to try another book by this author as well and I had read you know the summary and I thought I would give this one a try. Alright we still have three more packages to open. I don't know where I'm gonna put these on my bookshelves. All right, we have The Inheritance of Orchida Divinia. Now, this was, like, really popular last year, if I remember correctly, and I wanted to read it then, but I just, like, didn't because, you know, I have so many books and this was just not something that I chose to buy. Um, I will say that part of my concern about reading this book is I read that there are, like, a ton of characters and that it's kind of difficult to keep track of all the characters. It has, like, a little family tree here even for you oh that's like the receipt thingy um but I personally have a very tough time keeping track of characters when there are a lot of characters so that's part of the reason I haven't read this um the thing is it's not that long so like hopefully um hopefully it's not that bad but obviously this is going to be like another fantasy type book I don't know if it's going to be too much fantasy for me or not um, as I mentioned in the previous videos, but we will see. Alright, so this is Undivided by Neil Schusterman. So apparently it's book four in the Unwind Dystology. Um, I haven't actually read any books in this dystology, but I just wanted to have all of the books for when I did read it. Normally, I would just buy the first book and see if I liked it and then continue on, but I read Scythe, I think that's how you pronounce it by him, and then I also read um, Thunderbird, which is the second book in that trilogy, and then there's The Toll. I haven't read the third book yet, um, but I really do like his writing. I will say that Scythe was like way better than the second book. I'm hoping that the third book is good as well, um, but also I really love dystopian books. So I'm going to read the third book of that and then I had already bought the first three of this series and I figured I would just buy the fourth um, and I mean it's obviously it's like cheap enough when you're buying it through thrift books or something like that so that's why I have that book. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, I mean, I'm sure it said on the website that there was no dust jacket, um, but this is the plot. So this is a book that's like somewhat popular like recently. I feel like this is a fairly new book, isn't it? I mean, it says it came out in 2021. It was published in 2021. Anyway, so this, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty popular book or a known book anyway that recently came out. Um, I can't read any like dust jacket description to you, but from what I remember, <clears throat> excuse me, a professor at a university has like a student write a little bit of 
a book and then that student passes away and then the professor steals that idea and publishes it as his own um and then i guess after that stuff happens i don't really know what happens but i think that's the premise behind this book so this is something that i, I was kind of looking forward to reading as well and to be completely honest that like literally might be in my cart again right now like so I'm glad I'm opening these before I <laughs> place another order on thriftbooks.com. Um, as you can see, I don't really need to be placing another order. Anyway, um, I don't remember ordering this. I don't know what this is about. Um, it's called Miracle Creek. It was a book of the month at one point, apparently. I have no idea what this is about. Something about a courtroom thriller? I mean, that's not usually like my MO, but I guess it sounds interesting enough. I'll give it a try. It was a book of the month at one point, so I'm assuming like enough people like it. Um, I don't remember ordering this though, so that's interesting. Anyway, so those are all the books that I have ordered. So we have a total of what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 books that I ordered. I do not remember the total cost for all of these. Um, but usually I literally only buy books on there that are like less than $10 and sometimes they're like significantly less than $10. Usually like five, six, seven dollars is my range on there for buying books. So yeah. If you have read any of these books, please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of them. And that'll help me like decide what to put on my TBR sooner than later. So I have a lot of books here that are on my TBR and I'm just like adding all of these to, to it obviously like I've read some of them but not all of them um so I'm I kind of like yeah I'm gonna have to decide what ones I want to read now ish in the next six months this year and what ones are gonna get put off till later so let me know